Welcome back to Live at Five. It's time now for our weekly visit with an expert from Edward Jones. And today we get Gabe Rockers in with us. Good afternoon. How are you doing, Gabe? Doing well, Alan, and yourself? I'm doing fine, thanks. We have been so fortunate over the past few years with investing with our 401k plans or otherwise to get 10, 15, even 20% returns. Uh, it would be nice that that would happen every year, but we, we really can't bank on it for 2022 yet, can we? Great question. No, I mean, uh, the way we've come out of the gates uh, this year obviously seems much more difficult from a performance on the high positives comparatively to the last few years. Uh, if we just kind of look backwards first, you know, COVID hit, we suddenly had the government provide some stimulus. We had the Fed get real accommodative with monetary policy. And due to growth in the economy and growth in corporate profits, we had massive movements to the upside in our stock indexes, all of them last year up, you know, roughly 20% or a little bit better. Uh, as we've turned the corner into this year, now we're seeing inflation potentially being a bit of a headwind and a headache. And we're seeing that the Fed's going to react to that by raising interest rates. Currently, I think investors are overly concerned about the velocity or the aggressive nature of those rate hike movements. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there and see if inflation cools off a little bit later in the year. But there's no doubt what's been a really nice run in the market is definitely facing some, some headwinds and volatility should be expected throughout the bulk of the year, in my opinion. So you are not here today to pick specific stocks for us, for sure, that's not what you do. However, you all, all of you from Edward Jones talk about preaching moderation and spreading your investment portfolio out a little bit. Is that how we, we take care of this a little bit? Yeah, diversification will, will, I think, help to reduce some of the wild swings in price movements. Uh, we've seen some, some pretty big swings in the market year to date, and I do think that you can help to insulate some of those price movements through diversification. But investors have to keep in mind diversification is not a guarantee against profit or, or a guarantee uh, against losses. So uh, it's just the, the Fed to me is a headwind this year, a little later in the year. Political uncertainty probably is a little bit of a headwind. And because we've been on such a nice run, you've just got a little bit more of an appetite for profit taking in the face of safety, potentially by year end, paying us a little bit more effectively. Well, I know you also preach to us to not go online every day and click and look to see how much we've won or lost in, in just a day at a time. That It's the long term race that we're after here. And for folks to learn more about that, how can they reach you at Edward Jones? I appreciate you bringing that up, Alan. Uh, anybody can go online and, and find any of our local advisors on our website. Uh, they can also take out a phone book and find any of our local offices. Or if they want to just stop into one of the local offices and ask a few questions and potentially schedule, we do all sit down with clients and potential clients complimentary as a way to one, educate them a little bit more about financial matters and two, to understand what their current needs are. Well, like you said, it's been a rocky start to 2022 investment wise with COVID, with inflation and with uh, uncertainty in the Ukraine. So uh, talk to Gabe and the other folks at Edward Jones to get that advice. Uh, Gabe Rockers, yeah, thanks for- you know, our, our, our clients stay focused on the long-term uh, invest per comfort with your time horizon, your needs and your tolerance for risk. Risk tolerance, all right. Gabe Rockers from Edward Jones, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Alan, appreciate it. You